I am going to be submitting three pieces for the square foot exhibit, which is going to take place at AWOL, A-W-O-L Gallery here in Toronto, downtown. I just wanted to share the three that I was thinking of submitting. Two of them right here are completely new. I, I finished one of them like a few days ago and the other in late May. So yeah, and then right now I'm just looking at the other two that I have that would go with these two. First I thought of this one, but then now that I'm looking at things, the colors, it, you know, there's a lot of yellow going on and I don't know, I think it's a bit overkill, so I think I might pick that one. Right now I'm gonna just uh, wire and do everything there so it'll be ready to hang. And with this one, the design is very shiny and um, textural. Well, it's all my work is textural. But the background is completely matte with an iridescent blue uh, wash of color. And depending on how you look at it, the colors really change. The way the light hits it. Um, sometimes it can be very orange. raised. They're kind of like raised bumps. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. And then this one is completely shiny except for the words which say beware the charming man. There you go. Then as you can see it's quite shiny. Here we go is all matte with a special kind of paper which has polka dots in it and I think it's kind of interesting you can't really see the polka dots but it's an embossed paper and there are many layers and depending on the light here we go <laughs> um, yeah you can see how it really changes it's pretty Yeah, so uh, this one is called uh, How Many Layers? Yeah, and this, this is completely matte and the rest is very shiny. And there's also embedded in here is a very thick absorbent paper which I've dyed and distressed. Yeah, I use some uh, pastels and stuff to get effect as well. Uh, let's see, then the back. The title of this is Live with the Consequences of Abusive Behaviors. So that's my, and I did this at the end of May. Yeah, this blue one I finished like a few days ago. And this one is Shards Distract Illusions. And I did this in 2007. <laughs> so yeah. Now I am going to write uh, a few words on the inspiration behind these pieces and yeah just like I did with this one I usually write a bit of a description you know it, it really is just for my records in a way but um yeah this is the other one if you are interested you see And this is completely textural as well again. So you can see it's all
Yeah, but this one's very shiny. Yep. And this is called Color, and it was done 2007. So the paper that I used is, well, it has a metallic finish to it. Uh, and it's, it has a very interesting indigo tinge, and I love it. It's so dimensional. It's just fun. Um, and those three are on braced birchwood. This one is on stretch canvas. Them and get them ready to go. I'm going to drop them off tomorrow or Thursday. But if you do have a chance, check out a wall gallery updates and their website for information about the gallery exhibit. It's quite interesting, so I think you'd enjoy it. I shall speak to you later. Bye.